Table one, the finding we agreed is important in considering Scotland's finance and tax choice is that council tax system needs to be reviewed with the purpose of making it fairer. Um, so fairness was our key issue. The reason we decided this is because it hasn't been looked at since 1991. If more is brought in from people who can afford it, then it would be able to spend it on local services like um, housing, parks, schools, local communities and put it into the community elsewhere and also could release tax burden for households whose properties devalued over the years and are still paying a high tax rate. Good morning everyone. Good morning. Good morning. An independent review and simplification of Scotland's tax system. And the reason we discussed that was the current tax system is antiquated, the current system is not equally balanced, and the tax system needs to be simpler and more transparent. Okay, the table three, can everyone see me? No. no. <laughs> I knew that would be difficult, however, I don't have a booster seat. Uh, we feel that tax should be progressive, neutral, and a system that spent money in the right places. It fits our vision for a sustainable Scotland. It covers a lot of our statements and discussions around the table. For example, being able to roll over the budget to the people directly affected and are best placed to decide where the money should be spent. That's our statement for today. The findings that we agree is important in considering Scotland's finances and tax choices is to decriminalise some drugs. Right, I'm just going to list some benefits here, which not only include tax generation, but savings across other sectors as well. So the first one would be savings in the NHS. The second one would be savings in the prison services. For example, the cost of keeping a prisoner in jail, the use of legal aid before that person is put in jail. It would make the country safer for people with addiction and it would also take the power away for, for criminals, drug dealers for example. For a generation of tax, it would, without taking the money away from other places, if you looked at some of the policies of other countries regarding the legislation of cannabis, with the health benefits that's, that that has, um, I just think there's massive scope there, and it would also could um, it could be a, re a reduction for drug deaths. And anything you want to add to that? It's, it's the only tax that we believe that would be not taken away from, you know, personal tax or adding something on. It was the only tax that we were taking that that could generate some money. So although that doesn't, doesn't just involve the generation of tax, the savings for other sectors as well and the benefits to, to people with addiction, which is an illness, could be quite, quite positive. That's, that's how we felt. Although I know it's a touchy subject and I wasn't very confident about speaking about it, but here we are. <laughs> The finding that we agree is important in considering Scotland's finances and tax choices is, much like other tables, we found that we need to build or adjust a simplified, proportionate and, more importantly, progressive tax system. Um, we found that that will put funds back into the health service, education and other deprived public services, therefore helping eradicate poverty and ultimately building a fairer society. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Good morning. The findings we agreed important to consider Scotland's finances and tax choices are is that we would increase business tax on profits, but we would also uh, give incentives to businesses that supply apprenticeships and also use locally resources. This would increase skill education among youngest people, build an environment for businesses will be made for more economic use and we will boost employment, which will eventually boost income taxes to be used on other finances. Thank you.
The finding that we agreed is important in considering Scotland's finance and tax choices is to get rid of zero-hour contracts and to implement the living wage. The reasons behind it is it would give hope and confidence to the future for, for future generations, it would reduce the number of people who need top-up benefits and incentive for people to go into employment, and it would also increase income and tax revenue. Um, so our one was that we need education to um, reframe people's mindsets on tax, and this might include public participation in tax decisions, education on what uh, money is spent on and how much we need to raise, so example, um, to maintain the NHS and to prepare people for a new system. Yeah, the reasons why we decided that, that people need to know why it's so important and that it's about morals, values, part of being a citizen. I think we got such a surprise yesterday that nearly 50% of our tax goes on the national health and the population are not aware of that and they were aware of things like that. We can't build a sustainable country without thinking seriously about tax. <coughs> we agree that the tax system should be overhauled, the reason being to pursue a fair and zero carbon economy. And the reasons are too many people are avoiding paying their fair share, especially the extra wealthy. People are not currently incentivised to act green. We need to encourage people and businesses to make the right choices through taxation. And the current tax system does not reflect today's changing world, for example, employment choices and online businesses. Thank you, Table 9. The main finding that we agree is to increase tax by 1 to 1.5% 1 on wealth, resources, business and property tax, thus only or mostly affecting those who can pay and reducing the national debt. Uh, the reasons for that include things like increasing the tax take and the revenue available for improving public services, to reduce the debt, we heard, we heard yesterday that it's a quite a big issue and we're way over the debt limits, and those of us who have and generate wealth and profit should pay a little more and th than those who are struggling and should not. Thank you. Uh, the finding we agree is important in considering Scotland's finances and tax choices is that it must be fair and transparent to all citizens and focused on ensuring a sustainable environment for all. Good afternoon. <laughs> um, after in-depth discussions, we come up with three reasons for this. The current system is very difficult to understand and is not easily accessible. Two, being green, in inverted commas, is a long-term priority. Three, people need to be involved in how their money is raised and spent. Thank you. The finding that we agree is important in considering Scotland's finances and tax choices is raising business-related taxes that ensure all businesses take responsibility for the position within the tax system. We think there's the fairest way to generate additional finance for Scotland. I'd like to add in probably regulation, better regulation of, uh, the, of businesses. Um, the reasons that we've got are uh, there's too much tax being lost via avoidance and loopholes. And we think it's the fairest possible way because uh, there's less impact on the lower income households. Uh, consumers can choose whether, to, whether or not to buy into the businesses' products, whether or not they increase their prices or not as a result. So, yeah. Uh, the finding that we agree is important is considering Scotland's finances and tax choices as uh, there have been lots of useful and important information shared. Having enough to digest and analyse this as useful as we could have would take far more time. Because this is such a big responsibility and complex, we would propose a further assembly on tax and the economy. The reason for this is our insufficient time and too much input 
and the time available. We would like more access to the exports for longer in the question and answer sessions. The decision is too complex and important to rush and that this would provide a vehicle to further discuss all the great ideas that have been put forward in more detail. Good afternoon to Abdi. Uh, the finding that we agree is important is considering Scotland's finance and tax choices to introduce a land value tax that everyone pays. The reasons for this is it creates growth by stopping people sitting on land and putting it to use instead. It's also a source of revenue and it increases of building of homes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Table 14.